Continuing on with our Sand City Showcase, today we're going to be looking at favorite episode for me. I have to say, obviously so many to choose from, I'm going with the Winds of Winter. Winds of Winter, final episode in Season 6, coming right after the Battle of the Bastards. And this is when uh, Cersei Lannister, uh, for good and all, uh, put her enemies out to pasture, if you will. That introduction, that sequence, the music to go along with it, absolutely masterful. And quite a sequence. We think we're going into a trial when the Lannister, Cersei in particular, going to be put in her place. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, what we're going into is a bombardment, a catastrophic event, whatever you want to call it. But how Cersei handled business in that instance, uh, don't have the words. You already know. Now, uh, the karma did come quick for the Lannister family. You know where I'm going with this. Cersei was too busy seeking revenge. Lannister's lost another child way too young. Other parts of this episode that are absolutely outstanding that I have to note. First of all, your boy Jon Snow being named King of the North. Yeah, yeah, I like that action. Next, Daenerys heading back to Westeros with her dragons and her army. And oh, by the way, Tyrion with her. Uh, yeah, I like that. And this was rather savage, uh, but it needs to be noted. Uh, homegirl Arya, picture of things to come in terms of how she gets down and stands tall for her family and the entire realm. Uh, getting revenge on those that did the griminess during the Red Wedding. Yes, uh, Winds of Winter, outstanding episode, outstanding writing, cinematography, acting, the, the, everything that goes into making something stellar. The Winds of Winter had it, my favorite Game of Thrones episode. See you next time.